I don't think so. You know what I mean? But I don't think any of his other jokes was too bad of enough for the what people are saying or, you know, what has been said. But the only bad joke that I really heard was the molestation. What y'all think? That's a millennial uh, uh, reply. You got to understand comedy, man. You got to go back in the days with comedy. It was jokes way worse than that. That was light. You feel me? And mm-hmm. I think that's why he said it was because he knew y'all was going to be sensitive to the shit. So he basically trying to throw back and take back his... J.B. Written, and John J. on the show. And before we get into anything, let's start off with this. How y'all doing today? How was y'all week? Week is good, brother. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm, I'm living life, trying to make a dollar out of some change. All right? So y'all especially tune in to the shit that I got to say today. All right, all right, all right. And what about you, John Jay? Ducking and dodging this weather, trying to make it, seeing what this hurricane going to do. All right, all right. Anything said, exciting coming up for you guys? You you said you wanted to take it, take it. You said you want the, the hurricane to take us all out. Hell yeah, <laughs> fuck it. We got to go someday. We might as well go with somebody. Yeah, no. <laughs> Everybody die alone, man. Uh, so I don't want to die by myself. We all got to die. But, I don't even, I don't even want to see everybody die, and I don't want to die with everybody. Cause nah, me and you gotta go together. They gotta <laughs> put us in the same coffin. This nigga, no. this this nigga, this <laughs> Jay is the all or nothing kind of guy. Some, <laughs> some, somebody gotta live to tell this story. Yeah. Hey, you know, like he's a he's a Nah, we need a whole new story. We don't need no no more history. History need to be uh revised. We gotta start from the day and then start collecting data for the day. That way the world <laughs> will be a whole new better place. This guy, man. History, <laughs> I his, can't it'd be funny if history repeats itself. So. It yeah. probably would. We'll make all the same dumbass mistakes again. I don't know, cause this gen- Generation is soft as fuck, so there'll probably be man <laughs> on man and woman on woman. It won't be no like the generation to die quick because they don't know what sex to reproduce with. This nigga, that's a whole other topic that we're gonna get into. You know what I'm saying? Man, uh-huh. y'all niggas got scared and quiet when I said that, man. Tighten up. Hey, man, uh, yeah, listen, you know what? Listen, Sometimes I scared my <laughs> when it's time to do you know show up you know what i'm saying hey, so uh with that being said um you know i ain't got nothing going on myself just chilling um 2k20 comes out at the end of the week i'm gonna be balling on there i'm on and there you on there all right i'm on there too we gonna i ain't gonna lie i ain't good at that y'all have whooped me in that that's how you I get need, your I, get back jv yeah i need to get you know i need my get back in this cheating ass madden but that's another story <laughs> you don't want to talk about that. Man, damn cheating ass man, bro. Like, I don't even want to get into that. Come on, man. We we getting off topic. Off, man. Man, I'm finna play while we Matt, on it. No, Madden be pissing me off though. They, they, need to up, they need to they need to do something to that Madden and and and, and really and really get that up, get that updated. So I'm telling you, it's it's a little strategy to it, but but they do be cheating. If you get a strong team and I yeah. get the bucks, then you'll be able to hang with me or beat me, even if you don't know how to play that good. So, nah, it's not. And like then the that. computer, the computer be doing all the fucking work now. Yeah. So from what I heard, 
Yeah, it's, it's getting they, they Madden getting lame. I got a hey, I got so mad, I've bro. I've been saying that, bro. Went in, went in. I got so mad, and I was got so mad. I was about to sell the damn Madden. I I was so mad. He threw the controller when I beat him. I heard bro, the controller hit the wall was, and shit. Because the game be cheating, bro. I got tackled from behind and my dude fumbled. Like, that don't make no fucking sense. <laughs> at all. Like, Tell them what the score was when we played. I, I don't want to tell nobody. I ain't saying so shit. <laughs> all right, so Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. He just recently had a comedy special come out. Yes, sir. Um, Netflix or something like that, and um, I've been meaning to see it. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm gonna let y'all do the talking, and I'll try to chime in as much as I can. Um, with that being said, um, I heard it was a really good one. I heard, you know, it was it was really good. It was funny, and then I heard some feedback from people, uh, mostly people that are very insensitive or or is not realist, or people that are are I'm sorry, people that are really sensitive, people that are. Millennials, most likely, or maybe uh, non-millennials, maybe the younger generation, they 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 really caught some offense to that for some reason. Um, but um, I feel like just me, for me knowing Dave Chappelle, he he likes to push the push the envelope and stuff like that. And to me, he makes great material. I don't find anything wrong with it. Um, but with that being said, let's get into your favorite, your worst, and your realest joke that. Dave Chappelle said on there, and what's your thoughts on them? So uh, let's start off with uh with you, JB. All right, all right. What what y'all want to hear first? Favorite, worst, or really? Let's, I give y'all give y'all a choice. Let, let's do the let's do the the, the Let worst me hear joke. your worst one. Yeah. yeah. All right, the worst one. All right, and I don't want y'all getting on me talking about some I'm sensitive or nothing like that. I didn't like the uh the molestation joke. Uh, he was talking about uh, molesting. And I know it was a joke. And I know, you know what I mean, he's not a molester. I know, he, you know, he don't believe. I hope he don't believe in that stuff. But I, I didn't like the molestation. I don't really play with the molestation of kids. You know what I'm saying? Now, the Michael Jackson one was funny. You know what I mean? But he said, you know, if you want to get molested by anybody, you want to. You should get, well, you know, you'll want to get molestation. And then he's talking about if he was a molester. <laughs> it was funny, but if he was a molester, he'll molest the kid from home get alone. Get McCullough Coke in. Yeah, like, I, hey, look, I don't play with me. I, I ain't really like that one. I ain't hey. seen behind that one. And, you know, just a man that coaches kids and, you know, and have a baby girl. I don't like the molestation joke. So I mean that's I maybe I was sensitive about it. It is what it is. I don't think so. You know what I mean? But I don't think any of his other jokes was too bad of enough for the what people are saying or you know what has been said. But the only bad joke that I really heard was the molestation. What y'all think? That's a millennial uh, uh, reply. You got to understand comedy, man. You got to go back in the days with comedy. It was jokes way worse than that. That was light. You feel me? And mm -hmm. I think that's why he said it was because he knew y'all was going to be sensitive to the shit. So he basically trying to throw back and take back his freedom of speech. He trying to be able to say what he want to say. Like, it, I don't feel like it was nothing wrong with what he said. All he doing is addressing issues that happen, and he's addressing issues that had people up in arms, and he making a joke about it. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like if social media was in the 80s, 90s, come on, man. Like, our legends won't be legends anymore. You feel me? We won't have legends, you know, because they say shit way worse than this. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, I, I think it's an overreaction. Yeah, it could be, but you have to remember a lot of people are over oversensitive. Right. And they take things like that to heart. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, when, you know, we joking about it one time and then it's not that serious and people actually out here doing it. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I... I I'll say that. I agree with you if we ever caught Dave Chappelle doing it. I mean, mm -hmm. things in the world are going to happen whether you joke about it or not. Like, it's molesters out here walking free every day. 
I think it would be big if we caught Dave Chappelle actually doing it. Then we'd be like, oh shit, this nigga was like, you know what I'm saying? But other yeah. than that, it's just it's just comedy, man. And you know, and you know what's the funny part about it too? The first time I watch it, my first reaction, I laugh. You know what I'm saying? I laugh. It was funny. Then when I went back and I watched it again, it was kind of fucked up to me. That's the, you know what I'm saying? Like the second lie. time I, I watched it, I didn't really laugh. You know I what I mean? I laughed harder the second time. <laughs> yeah, For real, because it's like, cause, damn, cause, I ain't even understand what he was saying the first time. But the second time, it's like I got the joke. It's like watching Power. <laughs> you can watch Power like three different times and you find something new every time you watch it. That's how it was the second time I watched it. Yeah, but I, I'm just saying I understand why people get sensitive about that. You know, what I mean, especially people that are. Like, well, at one part he said, is, "Y'all probably can't even be at y'all uh, family family reunions because it's probably, awkward. Because because you probably got molested by somebody in your family." But exactly, you know that. that but tough, I feel like joke. when he said that, he kind of like I feel like he kind of made everybody feel like you're not alone in the situation. We've all had similar situations. Probably not molestation, but he, he didn't try to point out everybody. He made it open like saying he yeah. might have been molested when he was young too. Yeah. But you're not alone. But look, you got molested by Michael Jackson. At least it's not an awkward family reunion. You know what I'm saying? Something like that. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so let me ask y'all this. Um, um, JB, what would be your favorite joke that he said during the show? Um, my favorite joke is about the Me Too. The Me, <laughs> me Too. He said, if I was walking around and I'm black, but inside I'm Chinese, and I'm walking around with the Chinese face, and he'd be like, well, that's how I feel inside. <laughs> so he was talking about the Me Too movement, the gay movement. Right. That was the one joke. And um, the realest joke that I like is, uh, you know, of course, you know, about the black people, you know what I'm saying? No, the realest joke he said was in the beginning. In the beginning, he said, let me do an impression. He said, let me do an impression. And he said, I, this is an impression of all y'all. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was like, this is how y'all are. As soon as somebody mess up or somebody in the media mess up, y'all want to paint their name and and, and, and and scar them and scold them. So, yeah, that's the realest joke he said. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I give him that. That's the realest joke. And my favorite joke is the Chinese. He felt Chinese inside. So, that's how be women be feeling, be feeling. You know, I feel like a man inside, but really they're a woman and the outside. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, all right. So what do you think about, like, um, all the, the the criticism that he gets? He's gotten, to me, that I've seen, I've seen equal amount of, you know, praise as much as equal amount of criticism. Man, how I feel, I feel like, fuck everybody <clears throat> who don't like it. Like you said, if you ain't like it, don't click the damn thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm with John J. Fuck whoever said they didn't like it. You know what I'm saying? Now, the only thing I didn't like, the joke I didn't like, is the molestation. But that don't mean I don't like it as a whole. But some things he said in there was real. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. And, you know, we need to take back our land. Uh, black people, we ain't going nowhere. Like, I'm tired of people saying go back to Africa. Like, we, we, we was probably here first. And if we wasn't here first, we was brought here. And we build it, you know what I'm saying, here. So, you know, and he say about the gun control shit. I know some people don't believe in guns, but shit, we might need to buy some guns out here, you know. You know I don't like guns neither, but hell, I, I ha if I needed one, I'd rather have one, you know. So he said some real shit in that thing, man. And I agree with it. Ha more than half of what he said. It's just, All the, right. it's just the molestation, man. I ain't believing that. All right, all right, cool, cool. All right, and we'll talk about it sometime when I check it out and stuff like that. Um, you know, and we'll figure that out. So, uh, John Jay, let's yes, start sir. with the same order. So, let's say the worst joke that you felt that was on this uh this comedy uh, special. The worst joke 
Man, I ain't gonna lie. The worst joke that he said to me was, none of them. I love every last joke, man. Like, it was brilliant. Like, Dave Chappelle is one of the GOATs. I ain't gonna call him the all-time GOAT, but he one of the GOATs. And I, I loved all of them, but I'm gonna tell you the ones that stood out to me the most that I like. And this one, I put number one, it's because I've been saying this shit way before he said it, way before I heard the, um, and we could talk to some of my homeboys who I talked to, and they'll tell you that I've been saying this shit. And when he said, if a woman has the right to have an abortion, that the man should have the right to abandon them. And I <laughs> have not said those exact words, but... That's- but Let's get into that when we yeah, get done. Okay, because this is how I feel about this shit, man. I feel like no matter what, a man always got to pay the child support. <laughs> a man is always considered the deadbeat dad. A man uh, always get the, the worst rap when it comes to children. But women, they have the uh, uh, option to abort the child. They have the option to, when they have the child, to give the child up uh, for adoption. And they don't have to pay no child support or no shit like that when they get a child up for adoption. So why do men not have the right to give the child up for adoption? Why, if we want to sign over our rights, if we don't want the child, how come we got to be the ones that still have to pay uh, um, child support? Like, what if it's a chick that basically we was intoxicated and made a mistake and and busting or something like that? You know what I'm saying? And now we having a child with a woman we didn't want to have a child with. We tell her we don't want the baby, and she still want to keep the baby. And now we on child support for a mistake we made. You know what I'm saying? But the women have several options to get out of the mistake. Abortion. Adoption. Men don't have that option. So. Okay. All right. Went in any thoughts? Um, <clears throat> uh, you know, as far as, as far as that goes, uh, you know, I, I, I kind of agree with John Jay. Uh, I think it's definitely a, a double edged sword and, and there, there is no right or wrong answer to it. Cause I, I, I see both points of view. <clears throat> um, I <clears throat> honestly, I, I, if it, if it was my situation, I would agree with John Jay in that situation in, in, in regards to that. Um, if, if it were, if, if it was a situation that I was in, I would like to have that option. I'm not going to say it's the, it's the right option, but Man, I would like to have Don't be scared now. Nah. Don't be scared. Speak your mind. <clears throat> No, I mean that that's what it is. I would like to have that option. All right. I'm 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 gonna speak my mind. Okay? And 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 now we talking about it, I'm kind of changing my mind a little bit. I don't think women should be allowed to abort babies for no particular reason. Um I say you abort a baby because maybe something wrong with your health. Uh maybe something wrong with your uh where you're living at it something like that yeah you you oh, molested yeah you're a crackhead and you out in the streets and and even with that like you know what i'm saying like that's hard to say too because if you're a crackhead and you ain't got no money how you gonna get the money to abort a baby right that's, right you know what i mean so that's out of the topic anyway but you know if you're molested uh if you're you know raped uh you know, then I think it's, it's well done. But just aborting a baby just because, that's hard for me to just sit there and say, yeah, you should be able to do that. So that means, and therefore, I, I don't believe in, you know, a, a dad, you know what I'm saying, that that's well knowing he doing having sex should be able to leave a baby as well. You know what I'm saying? Now, I understand the joke. Now it's saying if if it's me too or if it's if I can abort the baby, why it ain't right for the daddy to leave the baby? You know what right. I'm saying? Exactly. So you know that's that's equal. That's equal opportunity. But we all know men and women are not equal in America. You know what I'm saying? So women got it better. 
in some instances. Some instances, women don't because, you know, jobs. Some jobs don't put you can have the same job as a woman, but it don't People pay the same. People say that shit, but how you know that? My wife make more than me. What you talking about? Yeah, y'all do the same thing? Yeah, y'all don't No, do my thing. wife in the medical field, but there you you know, go. it don't matter, though. It don't matter. It, like, it does. I'm telling you, do I'm you just, see do I'm you just, see women paychecks? I'm okay. just saying. You can I'm just go. Saying. You can Google this. You can Google this, John Jay. But you right can't now. Google women's paycheck though. It's not about that. All right. So look, <clears throat> look at this though. Check this out. If you go on Indeed.com, right? Mm-hmm. It's a uh, nursing position. We're paying twenty five dollars an hour, right? Okay. Okay. If a woman goes in that bitch, it's still gonna be twenty five dollars an hour. If a man goes in that bitch, it's still gonna be twenty five dollars an hour. Yeah, so, but that's not for every job though. You have to remember that. I'm all I'm saying is we not seeing every paycheck. Mm-hmm. And you, at work, <clears throat> you don't supposed to John, even talk about your pay, right? John, I'm just gonna be honest. Like Go ahead. this this kind of stuff does happen. Yeah. <clears throat> it's not I'm not saying, I see what you're saying. I don't think it's as bad as what everybody is saying. But I'm not going to sit up here and act like and agree <clears throat> that this kind of stuff don't happen. Because Walmart, you can Google it, mm-hmm. was underneath a lawsuit for for that situation. And that's a fact. But you see what happened, though. Lawsuit. If, but if that's, if whatever that's it was. happening. Mm-hmm. If that's happening, then they need to be dealt with. But I think I don't. I don't think it's fair. You know, what I'm saying that a woman should get paid less for what I do, and we putting in the same work. You know, what I'm saying. Well, okay, that's in the same vein of saying like, you know, you don't get the job. You know, sometimes because you're black. Like, mm-hmm. there's no way for us to really, really, really prove it. But that stuff does exist. Oh yeah, right. You know what I'm of saying? course. So. I'm not. I'm not. You know. I. I. I see where you're coming from, and I. And, and you know. But I, I do believe that that exists. Now let me let me ask you guys this. Let me throw a little question in here, and then we can get into. Uh, you know, we'll get into some other stuff. Hold on. I ain't done with my um. Oh my bad. Neither. I was gonna. Okay, go ahead. No, go ahead. We could talk about this, and I'll go after after. <clears throat> um. Do you think it should be a standard for women to have a DNA test? Whenever they have a child, uh, no, I don't think so, because um, it, I, I think under certain circumstances, yes, but not every single one. Like I don't think I need no DNA test for none of my kids. Right. Um, I see why. You know what I'm saying? I see why it could, it could become a standard. Just you know. It, it's like a throwing a wrench in there, like, hey, this is just something you need to do before we leave the hospital just to make sure. But you have to remember, man, I mean, the government is the government. Is this a real know? thing, though? No. No, no this okay. is not a real thing. This is not a real thing. But I'm saying, though, like, some people, they know they're not the dads. You know what I'm saying? Like, they know they're right. not the fathers. They're just going to be, like, the stepdad, and they're going to sign the birth certificate. You know what I'm saying? But he could so, get on child support for that shit, too. Yeah, he's the dad. He's the legal dad. So whatever, even though he's not blood, he's still the legal, you know, father. So you know what I mean. So some people are like that. So I don't say it. It have to be a standard, but I do think it should be a question that every per every you know what I mean. Every mother, every father get when you're in the hospital. Hey, do you want to get the DNA test? No. All right, we move forward, and you sign the thing. You know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. it should okay. be a question. Yeah. Okay. I think it should be the standard. Um, at the end of the day, you don't know until the kid comes out. And even if the kid comes out, the kid may not even look like you. You know, uh, there's just too many instances where where people are dealing with kids and raising kids all the way up until 18 to find out that they're not theirs. And mm-hmm. it's a complete waste of somebody's time. It can be. No, I'm not going to say it is. Because some people grow up and, you know, they grow up with that child and they love that child anyway. But it, it, it could be a possibility of, of the waste of somebody's time. That it, could, it, could, it, it could even probably save some lives. But that's kind of taking you know? everybody. That's kind of taking away freedom of speech. You know what I'm saying? Like a freedom, you know, to do stuff. You can't make stuff like that a standard. You know? they don't well, it, it wouldn't be a, it wouldn't breach anything in a freedom of speech. I mean, 
that's, that's you know, a what if, but okay, now then people are gonna be refusing that. Like, nah, like you know, like John Jay, like, hey man, I don't need no test. These right. mine right here. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I now, feel offended. That yeah, offend my wife. Yes, you that offend me. Like people feel like, what you mean? I gotta get a test? Like. You right. know what I mean? Like something down, nah, I'm good. You know, you know and you make and some, you make it a standard. Sometimes, you know, and sometimes pride, man. You let pride get in your way, man. It'll fuck you up in the long run, man. You know, like <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> man, that's just pride, bro. Yeah, you know it's true. Hey, yeah, some I people agree. gonna get it, but yeah. you know, some people don't like it. You messing with it though? Get some fucked up situations over pride, man. And it's just like logic. You know, to me, is is the best way to go. Like. You know, I you know, at the end of the day, I you know, you don't know every single time. Right. You don't. Right. <laughs> you know. So, all right, go, well, go ahead, go ahead, uh, John Jay, finish your. Uh, yeah, yeah, all right. My uh, my next one was with when he was like, um, the kids when they doing the the shooter the uh the shooter drills in school. <laughs> how, how the shooter is in the classroom learning that shit too. Yeah, they yeah, they yeah. in the classroom hearing the whole fucking plan. Yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So he, he got a point on that, man. Like, come on, y'all. I just think some shit is backwards, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? But I think there's still... I, it sounds crazy that... It sounds crazy you have a drill for active shooters that don't in the school when the, when the when the school when the shooter is in the school that's crazy though like we, like we ain't had i didn't have that when i was a me kid me either we had like fire drills fire yeah, like that like, like that hurricane was you know hurricane drills you know what i mean yeah. like but i mean at the same time since it's happening you have to have that drill like even though they take that risk of telling the shooter i think it should be between the teachers not the students because it's yeah. the students that's shooting that shit up, not the, the yeah, teachers. But you have to you have to tell everybody because yeah, you can know what's going on, but the kids don't know what's going on. So while they running around and you trying to get everything lined up, look they don't I'm know say this though, JB. You know, you could do it like this. Tell them this is a fire drill. Um, you guys need to listen to your teachers. Okay. It could be like that. You don't have to tell a, a kids it's an active shooter on campus, because that's gonna make everybody panic anyway. Just be like, it's a fire drill. We need to be as calm as possible. Let's get out of here. It could be a cold word because, mm -hmm. it, it, you know what I'm saying? If but, uh, It's like the roof. The roof is on fire. When everybody know the roof is on fire, what happened? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Panic. But that so, brings me back to, I think, some some um teachers should be able to have guns. I, I think that. I think I some think, teachers should I be able to have guns. I think they should do, but I think it should You be didn't like, say that before. No, I'm going to say what say I that said before. before. I'm going to say what I said before. I'm going to say the exact thing I said before. I said that I think it should be guns in school, but I think it should be locked away in like a lockbox or something yeah, that like that. That ain't doing no damn good. Shooters happen right now. Now you got to go to the lockbox and unlock it first. All right, Everybody same thing hit. in your home. You, you got children at home, right? And your yeah. gun's locked up. So if I went in your house and I got them things out, you ain't ready. Yeah, you you ain't ready. ready. So 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 let's get into this. So were you uh, done with your thought, John Jay? Say it again. Were you done did with you, your thought on that? You yeah, yeah, I was, I'm done. I'm done. That was okay, it. Okay, so um, let's get into some closing, uh, you know, comments and stuff about this uh, about Damn. this uh, show. All right. And and I want <clears throat> to ask you this. Um, you guys seen playing with Dave Chappelle? What would this rank out of all of his uh, body of work? And uh, from a scale of one to ten, ten being the best, what would you rate this whole uh, comedy uh, show? Ooh, <laughs> that's a tough one. Oh man, um, it's definitely one of his tops. One of his tops. Not even. Not. <clears throat> it could be the top. But I like that one too when he was uh he always kind of you know teetered the line a little bit uh you know what I'm saying so this one here and the one um which one was that uh sprinkle sprinkle some crack on him I forgot the name of it that's uh, the I'm Chappelle to... show no not that one not the Chappelle show it was a it was a stand up okay hold on let me let me look it up and up. Uh... 
it was a it was one he he said uh it was on HBO. It was on HBO. I don't remember the name of it. It was like back in 2016 or something, 2017. Uh that was a pretty do- doggone good one too. Um uh Killing Them Softly. That's what it's called. Killing Them Softly. That okay. shit was funny. Like that was one of his best work too. But I like I always liked Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle always been my top you know, comedian, one of my top comedians, because he's unorthodox. You know what I'm saying? He, ne- you never know which way he's going to go. You know what I mean? He don't. He like he the way he lines his jokes up, and he's just natural on stage. You know what I'm saying? Just it's like not he's trying. He's not really trying hard. And I, I'm not gonna say you know like like uh, Kevin Hart. You know, and I hope Kevin Hart all right through his crash. But you know, Kevin Hart seems like he got to line up his jokes, and he kind of. Kind of, yeah. you know, he ain't as funny. But Dave Chappelle is just a natural on stage, man. Like, just natural. Even watching his interviews, you know, watching him talk, it's just, you know, natural. So I say I give this right here a definite 10. But to say that it was his best, I can't. I can't say that. I like killing them softly. All right, all right. So, um, so what about through 1 through 10? Did you give it a number? Did you give it a rating? It's a 10. It's a ten, yeah. Okay. But Dave Chappelle is a legend, man. That nigga's good already. Like, all right, yeah. All right, cool, cool, cool. That's a good one. That's a good. I like that. And he's what the, about he's, you? He's uh-huh. the best. He's the best comedian right now, still going. Okay. I'll, all right. I'm gonna ask you: Am I rating him against himself or other comics? No, against himself. All right. If I'm gonna rate it against himself, I'm gonna keep him in order. You know what I'm saying? This is not the best, but it's, you know what I'm saying? It's not the worst neither. So it, it's like me ranking the Carters, even though I think Carter 2 is the trashest one. But it's it's like ranking that. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel like against himself, it's great. But if, if I rank it against other stand-ups that I've heard, I'll probably give it like an 8 because I feel like I've laughed harder at other um, stand-up than this one. You know what I'm saying? But uh it's good. Like like I said, uh Dave Chappelle one of the goats, man. So you he can't go wrong in my book. Yeah, and I, I wanna add one more thing. And I, I guess I rank it a ten because more of the message than the laughter too. So right. it's kinda like the message and the laughter. But right. just laughter by itself, I'm with you. You right. You right. And the balls. The balls. Like yeah. I like that he in this day and age, he still said faggot like five times. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, Yo, he, I, I like that. <laughs> you know no, he said he, he kept yelling that shit too. Exactly. Faggot. Faggot. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. The balls, the bravery, just to go up there and the laughter is a 10. Yeah. But for just sure. laughter by itself, it, you know what I'm saying? It ain't as good as his other ones to me. Right. Yeah. All right, all right. All right, cool, cool, cool. Well, I like that segment, and you guys actually motivated me to actually want to go see it, like, by tomorrow. I you didn't go see it. That's the crazy thing. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it came out, like, what, last week or something, right? Yeah, it came out. <clears throat> yeah, I've been busy the whole week, and I have a lot of things going on. So uh, <clears throat> I will I will see it this week for sure, and uh, maybe I'll mention it in our uh, Hero of the Week or something like that at the end. Um, but with that being said, good show, guys. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it. It was good. It was good. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, don't forget to visit us um, on SoundCloud. We're going to be on YouTube. We got some cool things go- uh, coming up soon. Um, I just, uh, you know, reapplied us for uh, iTunes. So we'll be um, going through that. Um, so by, uh, probably by the time this show comes out, you know, we'll figure it out. So, uh, purchase your tracks today.